Regulations are complicated, but bear with me and you will understand why. Regulation when it comes to cosmetics are not perfect, but they are very good. They may sound to most people like nonsense. Some companies love to break them with intention, then acts like... Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. But let's talk at the definition of cosmetics in Europe. Any substance or mixture intended to be placed in contact with the external part of the human body, epidermis, hair system, nails, lips, and external genital organ, or with the teeth and the mucous membrane of the oral cavity with the view exclusively or mainly to cleaning them, perfuming them, changing their appearance, protecting them, keeping them in good condition, or correcting body odors. Now let's look at the other hand the drug definition in the European regulation. A substance or combination of substance that is intended to treat, prevent, or diagnose a disease or to restore, correct, or modify physiological function by exerting a pharmacological, immunological, or metabolic action. If we look at the definition alone, we should think, okay, most active ingredients work like a drug, inhibiting an enzyme or activating nuclear receptor. That's how some brands translate regulations, saying, well, this active do actually treat acne or melasma. If we follow this way of thinking, the only cosmetic product you will have access to is cold cream. Regulation don't allow this because those regulations don't depend on the definition to tell the difference between a drug and cosmetic, but rely on two things. Follow for part two to find out what are those two parameters.